What up, y'all? Welcome back. Bribery. So we have a stipulation. This is this one's perfect. Um, we have a stipulation by Snarky Zero. Okay. Don't let them have or cast their things. Anything that lets you prevent opponents from casting spells before they cast them, i.e. not counter spells, or takes cards from their deck. Ashiok, Mind Twist, Thief of Sanity, Gonti, and having fun are a priority. All right, so we're going to take Bribery here. That fits in that. Oh, Treachery. Well, this doesn't prevent them from casting the things, but it does take cards from them. And, like, Bribery and Treachery are, like, the two best five mana cards, five mana blue cards in the cube. They're just pretty insane. Oh, into a Grim Monolith? Which just does Bribery on turn two? That's pretty good. <laughs> Did I miss my step? Sammy, no, I have not done it yet. You are still good. Okay. Mind Slaver takes their turn. I also stole a Monarch token from Michael B. when I was downstairs. He's got all his Commander Legend stuff down there, so I took this Monarch token. Because I need one for the cube. Oh, dang it. My biggest concern when I drop cards is I'm like, when I back up to pick this up, what if I run over it? And then it's like, oh, God. It's okay. We got it. We did not, in fact, run over it. Yeah, we're going to take Mind Slaver. I don't know if it's fourth pickable here, but it is in line with the stip. So. That is turn. Well, it's turn two with a Mox and a Grim model. If you're talking about Mind Slaver, we can go. Turn one Mox Mind Slaver. Or turn one Mox Grimonolith. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one Yoink Book. <laughs> Perfectly on brand. I kind of like Lodestone Golem with what we have going here. I mean, Dig Through Time is also very good. Citadel of Bolus is Citadel. I want to say Citadel of Bolus. Is that a better name? Bolus is a Citadel. You know that I could use somebody. Tell you what, how do you you definitely know how to how to find out what the stip is? I don't even want to hear it. I'm gonna take dig through time. I don't, oh. Turn after a lodestone golem. We got Talarian Academy. I mean, I'm taking the Talarian Academy. We're still very early on, but we are also still very mono blue right now. So. Come on down to Jones, Big Ass Citadel and Barbecue. Jones, Big Ass Citadel and Barbecue. Phyrexian Revoker prevents them from activating their things. Rakdos' return is, is pretty similar to... Uh, every time you do the command, it's not there. Well, you know, Stip question mark is not the command. It's command Stip. Oh, look, you just did it. You just did it. Come on. I don't need your lies. I'm going to take Roker here because I don't think we want to go into three colors. And this does prevent them from activating their cards. So I think it's it's similar and I don't think going into black and red is really going to really gonna be what we want to do here. Emery or Boros Signet or Stone Coil Serpent. I'm saying every other draft. Well, every other draft, we don't have a stip, buddy. Why is the stip censored in Twitch chat? What do you mean? Shut up and take my money. What's he saying right now? Oh, Frankel Poor said, yo, what up, me? I kind of like Boros Signet here, but we can actually get... I'm sure we... All right, I guess we're taking the Emery. Okay, sounds good. Um, we'll take Hydrid Crassus for now. Like the the color we want to be in is black. I don't want a smoke stack. It might just be Yorion. I actually don't hate Yorion here. It blinks things like Treachery. It blinks uh, Grim Monolith. You can reset. Like blinking Treachery to just untap. Because if you blink Treachery, you get to untap your lands.
I see stars in place of letters sometimes. <laughs> this sounds just like you got, probably got to consult your physician. Bomat Courier. Let's take Massacre. Where am I get? Wow, that is a late crater hoof. And it just goes to show you the amount of disrespect these people have. Armageddon. Oh, boy. I mean, Armageddon does prevent them from casting their things. Well, I see. You know that I could use somebody. Someone like you. Why is this long stick, man? Not a fan of this passing hoof in out. Shut in, up and take my money. In our non green decks instead of by pivoting into it. I agree. Future Frank, today at 5 p.m., somebody poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions to come. <laughs> oh, man. Future Frank sounds like an episode of The Office, but, you know, I'm okay with it. Meh. Mm, not. Ca mm, I don't like Gush, though. I'll just take mana tithe if oh Rakdos return came back. See that could be a sign. Interesting. Don't let them cast their things. Thieving Skydiver takes their artifacts. Which is really the best. Uh, we got two lands here. I think we're still trying to go into black because of him to Torok or Thief of Sanity, things like that. I think we're just taking Thieving Skydiver. It does steal a thing. Mox Pearl is a card I want in my deck. If this Gonti comes back, I'll be extremely grateful. But we're just taking... We're, we're going to take power. Like, power is not... It's non-negotiable, especially in a deck with Emery and a deck with a bunch of stuff I was going down in my seas you know that I could use some why is this song god I wish she didn't get this song Katie got this song stuck in my head and I have no way to get it out of my head Oh, Telerian Academy was the real card. I was like, Mox seems good. Go back to Carol of the Bells. Is that is that what the um is that what the Paul McCartney song is called? I don't actually know what song that is. I'm gonna take Narset. Um, Narset seems like the closest thing to not letting them do things. Like they can't draw cards. Is Mike in the chat? No, Michael is working. Hmm. We have one of Christmas time. Dude, dude. Uh, are we dressing? 
<laughs> Duress does the thing. Brazen Bar bounces their thing that they've already cast. I think it's just Creeping Tarpet. We're trying to play black. I, I think we just got to start committing to the... There we go. And then we get rewarded with the Thief of Sanity. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, so the problem is, like, we already have Mox Pearl, which is going to be colorless. And I want to make sure we have enough sources to actually cast the black that we're trying to go into here. Um, Ponder seems very good. Ponder's got to be better than Shark Typhoon, right? I don't think any of these other cards stop them from doing things. That is a very... Oh, Time Warp. You know what Time Warp does? It stops them from taking their turn. <laughs> Actually seems really good. I'm actually liking the way this deck looks so far. Snapcast Mage. So opposition's great, but. We only have like Sling Gang Lieutenant and Black Blue is not necessarily the um the, the archetype you want. Snapcaster can do a lot of things though. It can actually take another turn. We can bribery them again. So I think Snapcaster has a lot of options here. Especially if we get like him to Torok, we can him them twice. Him usually goes pretty late as well, so. It's a late mind's desire. I'll take this day of judgment, I guess. Simply, uh, what up, Unforgiven? Always a pleasure, buddy. Come on, buddy. The moon is red. Tangle wire stops them from doing stuff. I don't know if it's great in our deck, but we do have a Talarian Academy, so maybe. I think it's better than Frantic Search or Yawgmoth in our deck. <sighs> kind of like Doretti. Um, I actually, I'm not a big fan of Top. But I think it might be okay with things like Ponder and Talarian Academy. Colgon's Command. I mean, that's very good. Thassa's Oracle? I'll take a Thassa's Oracle. Maybe we win with Thassa's Oracle. Simply... Heaven, a wonderful Christmas time. That's a late... Last pick, Through the Breach and Rafelos. Wow. Sometimes the green...
I have to take Ruby. I have to take Ruby. I, I, I don't want to. I hope Ashiok or Emrakul comes back. But like, we just have Talarian Academy and it's a mox. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a mox. It's a mox. It's a mox. It's a mox. Just keep telling yourself it's a mox. Oh, God. It doesn't feel good at all. I think Tinker's actually insane right now. We have two moxes, a Revoker, a Grim Monolith, and a Sensei's Dividing Top. Like, this is the Tinker deck we're always trying to get. Here's a channel. We could have had last pick Rafelos, channel, and Crater Hoof, and Embercle in this draft. That's insane. Do any of these cards prevent our opponents from doing things? Riffling Cloudscape bounces the thing. Frost Titan. <sighs> Rakdos Signet's not bad. If we want to splash Kolagon's command, we now have Mox Ruby and Rakdos Signet. It also helps our black sources. I think it's actually Signet here. So, like, the Civ is preventing from casting their things, but, like, I mean, like, in lieu of that, when none of these cards do that, I think it's fine to take a card like Control Magic. And there it is. Wow, that's a bingo. Finally got the Tinker and the Blightsteel in a Tinker deck. Um, I actually like Course of Port a little better than Baleful Strix here. Yeah, I think we're going Course of Portal. I think it's just Languish. Uh, we don't have a ton of creatures, so I think Languishing is actually pretty fine. Nothing else is preventing anything. Expansion Explosion could be good. Michael B, look, I took this from you. <laughs> Michael B was big mad. Leovold. I'm just taking... Nah, we can't splash this guy. It's not even worth it. God, they're giving me so many of my favorite things. It's unreal. Cliffs might be okay. I think you're way behind again. <laughs> We're not going to play Wildfire. It's double red. Like, that's never happening. We're not even playing a single red card in our deck. You sound crazy. Wand of... Oh, we did it! <laughs> Oh man, that's the that's the that's the gems. That's the ticket. Baral makes lots of things cheaper. Bribery, time warp, dig through time. I think Baral is actually fine. Frost Titan came back. So did Worm Coil, which is really sweet actually. I think Worm Coil's got to be better here. Treasure Cruise fine. I was just giving you options. Buddy, all you were doing was reading cards in the pack. That's where you can word a phrase in the same backwards as the forwards. Yeah, palindrome. Not palindrome, but palindrome. Uh, I'll take a pyroclasm. Okay, I actually think this is pretty good. So as far as things that prevent them from like doing stuff, we have Ashiok, Mind Slaver, Bribery, kind of Time Warp. I consider Time Warp, it stops them from having a turn. Um, Treachery takes their thing. Control Magic takes their thing. Narset prevents them from drawing extra cards. Thieving, Thief of Sanity stops them from doing a thing. Tangle Wire prevents them from casting some spells. Thief takes their cards. Wrecked, uh, Phyrexian Roker prevents them from activating a thing. <clears throat> P 
Palancron is when is when the time is the same backwards and forwards. <laughs> oh boy. I'm probably taking top out. I think this actually looks like I think this looks good. What is Yorgon blinking? Like we can actually activate Narset twice and then blink it with Yorgon, so it goes back up to five. That's pretty sweet, actually. Oh yeah, we have two moxes. <laughs> I forgot about that. So what are our black cards? Literally just Ashiok, Thief of Sanity, and we have Rakdos Signet. Like, that's actually pretty good. And Creeping Tar Pit, so we actually can play a ton of islands here. We can reset Tangle Wire if we're absolute monsters. So this is three, four, five black sources. I'm going to go up to six. Oh, I don't need a white. So this is nine, ten, eleven, eleven, six. Yeah, that seems good. I could see bringing in Languish, or playing Languish even, over like Tanglewire. Baral is is fine. I, I mean, like, we're, I mean, like, so here's the thing. What are we playing on turn two other than other than these? Like, literally nothing. So it, it's a guy on the ground. And then it also lets us play Bribery, Time Warp, Dig Through Time, even Tinker Cheaper. Like, I think it's totally fine. You don't like Tanglewire? I don't think top's better than Brawl. No, I think I think I think it might be better than Tanglewire. I could see that. I mean, the thing about Tanglewire is nice is like they tap four in the first turn. You tap Tanglewire and two other things, which is kind of good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it like this. We'll see what happens. If we're if we Tanglewire, we Tanglewire. If you tangle wires, you tangle wires. Tangle wires have zero artifacts. Well, it doesn't choose to. One minute and 14 seconds. Just use an opposition to tap your tangle wire on their end step. That is, I guess that is how opposition works, isn't it? You could, you could use an artifact, you can use one of your creatures to tap your own opposition. Is that right? Man, a minute and 46 seconds. I'm so sorry, you YouTube guys. I just got to keep remembering to, like, join the queue, pause it, unpause it when the, when the queue actually fires. All right. Let's see if we can do the deed. Why does Tangle Wire care if it's tapped or not? I don't know. It's not Winter Worm. I don't know why I even talked about that. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. It doesn't care. Wow, this hand would be great if it had one mox in it. Maybe two moxes. Damn it. Okay. We'll keep it. Um, I'm going to ship Narset. I think Control Magic is going to have a bigger impact. Oh boy. Heavy breathing. Mox. Dang it. So, so unfortunate. You know that I could. Oh no. Oh god, don't do it. Oh boy. Wow, that's very good on turn two. Wow. 
So long, Rakdos Signet. I mean, we're still going to play it. Because it forces them to negative the Frailies. But good lord. Do you see more money if we watch the ads all the way through? I don't actually know. Someone asked me that yesterday. And, like, I'm at, I imagine I do, but I also imagine, like, the amount I receive more is, is fractional, you know? So don't, like, don't, like, inconvenience yourself. The people of YouTube. What tube? YouTube. Hmm. Well... Forces is a strong word. What does that mean? So I think the lesson here is bring in languish. Oh, they untapped this, huh? Fascinating. Oh, isn't that fascinating? I might just take this Lotus Cobra and then they might just kill the control magic. Fraley seems extremely good against us when we can get on all, like turn two and no pressure. So we can go one, two, three, four, to Larian Academy. Add two, do nothing else. Are just going to lose to turn two Frailies? That's kind of funny to me. This does nothing. Oh, God. It's so bad. If I had one more mana this turn, I could actually play Worm Coil Engine, which is significantly better when they kill that with the Frailies. That seems fine. You know that I could use somebody. Okay, we're just gonna. Yep, that'll be that'll that'll do. That'll be the end. Oh yeah, control magic cannot steal planeswalkers. That would be extremely good. We're gonna bring in languish. Take out two more islands. For two more swamps. And take out the Tangle Wire. Anything else we want to bring in? Massacre Worm? Sure. Not Treasure Cruise. Massacre Worm. And take out... Is Worm good? God, yes. Take out Yorion. Maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. This guy in the opening hand is pretty rough. Oh, fuck. For fuck's sake. Come on. <sighs> this hand's actually very good if we can draw one island. Island into Ponder, hit a second land, Grim Monolith, Larian Academy. Like. I, we need one land. I really don't think this is an easy mull to five. Like, we're already going to five. Or we're going to six here, but we'll be going to five. I think it's a keep ship thief. I, I think this is actually fine. We still have a land. All we need is one mox or one land. And I think that's actually completely fine. Wow. Mana vault every game. Okay. No bueno. Fuck, every game, dude. Ugh, fucking Jesus Christ. I mean, regardless of whether we kept we have a Talarian Academy or not, the fact that we haven't drawn a land in, in three turns is pretty fucking ridiculous. Like, 
sure, we could have mulliganed, but I mean, I think our odds of drawing a land on turn two or turn three should be pretty decent, so. I mean, this hand also sets us up really nicely into Grim Monolith and Control Magic. Like, it's just, there's a lot going on. Yep, wow. This is... Alright. Ponderosa. There's a Tinker. And any order and ship. Alright. Let's see what happens. I mean, a Mox here would be fantastic. We can go Mox, tap the two lands, Grim Monolith, and to Treachery, steal the Greater Gargaroth. That would actually be a banana's turn. One mox would be literally fantastic here. And if we don't draw, we probably lose. So, Oof. Big oof. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> because, of course, you have to have fucking Rashad in port. Why wouldn't you? Yep. Amazing. Yeah. Cool. Fun game. I had a good time. My favorite part of Magic is sitting down and watching your opponent jerk off while you get to do nothing. That's my favorite. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> oh. oh, we're going to ponder with uh, with zero, hit zero lands? Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, well. Any one land, and I think that hand is just fantastic. Unfortunately, we didn't see it for three turns, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Three, four, five, six. If we hit a Mox, we can go turn three, Thief of Sanity. Actually, we can go turn two, Thief of Sanity, if we hit a Mox. Can we do that? No? Okay. I understand. I finally got my Kirby altar because of mail being backed up. Now I can play my Kirby deck anytime on web. Micah, Micah, Michael's been playing a ton of commander on webcam. You guys should play some commander together. So what do we have? One, two, three. We have six total mana here. Emery costs two. We could also play Portal into Emery. Cost one. Three, four, one for Emery. But then, like, the living man on tap doesn't really mean anything there. <sighs> could also just play Thief of Sanity. <laughs> Danny, what's going on? Those are absolutely terrible games, my dude. But uh, good games in the sense of Good to see you in our games. Um, so we can just play Yorion Blink the Monolith as well. That is a an option. It's just a free 5-5. Five, five. It's not super exciting, though. I kind of just like Course of Portal Emery. But then, like, we lose so much mana. <laughs> But I guess we're drawing to... I don't know, man. If we had, like, a Mox or something, it could be real good. Hey! That's literally what we did. Like, th them not using any mana at the end of their turn, just having three mana and not playing any of it is pretty rough. Yeah, it's just a light black splash for things like Thief of Sanity and Ashiok, but um, yeah, like if we hit any one land, we have like a pretty decent hand in the last game. We have like Grim Monolith, Treachery, um, other stuff as well, but like we just couldn't hit a, an actual land in like three, three, four turns, so. What can you do? I mean, that's magic. I get a little salty and then you just got to move on.
Actually, this is this is perfectly fine if we just get to untap and actually play our stuff. If we can hit a land, it's actually very good. And I'm pretty sure we have high odds now that we have... Can we get a Teleron Academy? That would be great. Okay. I'm going to take this. We could have actually pondered try to hit a land, but if we don't hit a land, it's, it's not great. Does being the monarch give you an extra vote for portal? For portal? I don't even know what that means. Oops. I guess they kill control magic here, which is actually okay. It's not the worst. Oh, coercive portal. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine. <laughs> it's on the battlefield? Oh, thanks. Thank you for the... For the knowledge. Tinker? Phyrexian Revoker on Fraley's is pretty good. Um, hmm. So we got one, two, three, four. We have five mana. Can we get rid of this guy? I don't think we have a way to get rid of this guy. It's in play. What does in play mean? Oh boy. One, two, three, four. I mean, I, I'm kinda I kinda wanna hit a, like a Talarian Academy. What are the odds of that, you think? We could also Thief of Sanity, which could we could just Thief of Sanity into Revoker to shut off Fraley's. Yeah, I kinda like that. Fraley's Lana Wars Fury. That's your name, right? That's your name, right? Yeah, we're going to ideally time walk next turn. Drawing two cards a turn with Course of Portal is pretty good. I don't know if you guys knew that. You guys know about Course of Portal? You guys know about the Portal? Oh, God. Through the breach, Emrakul. Oh, Jesus. No, well, no, this is an X spell. Okay, that's actually completely fine. Wow, that's. It's totally okay. I mean, it does block our Thief of Sanity, so we gotta find a way to deal with it. Can we get a treachery one time? That'd be cool. Ashiok. Well, we're going to ponder. Oh, a tinker. Oh, biscuits. Two, three. No. One, two, three, four, five. We can also play this from the graveyard to also play Ashiok this turn. Let's do that. Let's go get B Steel. Uh, choose Mox. Play Mox. Play Ashiok. That's not a black at all. <clears throat> and we'll exile. Oh, we hit an Inferno Titan? And two lands. Okay. Well, theoretically, Blightsteel is going to be hard to deal with. This only blinks things you own and control, right? Yeah, that's interesting. It's a very interesting uh, speculation stipulation there. So if you like, if you steal something, you can't blink it and then have it enter the battlefield uh, back under your control. Okay, here comes. Here comes something. Frost Titan? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, we still get the time warp, and this guy still untaps. So, that's cool. The question is, do you start pressuring Ashiok? 
Yeah, that's fine. I'll take four. I mean, the alternative is they start uh, plussing up Fraley's. Mm, that's a good dude. Oh, Snappy Boy? <laughs> what does Snappy Boy do? Not much yet. <laughs> so we got four, five, six. Okay, so I guess all we can do is time warp. Oh, we can also snap time work if we have one more land, which is probably going to be game. Do, do, do. There was no land there. That's a really sad. We got a Leovold? It might just be worth putting Leovold into play. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so we can go one, two, three, four. We got four, five, six. Is there any way to untap this? Yorion can blink it. I mean, we're just attacking with Blightsteel here, I think. I'm really surprised we didn't hit another land here. Attack you. I assume they're blocking with Crassus and not Frost Titan. But that does turn our Thief of Sanity online. So what, four or five? We have six mana. What does that do? We can Yorion blink this guy. I think it's just Yorion. Turns our monolith back on. Seems fine. Let's blink Emery... Mom, bomb, bomb. Seems good. Put them all back. Emery mills four more, so we get more choices here. Uh, four lands, which is actually... You could destroy everything. How can I destroy everything? Oh, we, they, we both have to vote for Carnage. It's not like I could just choose Carnage and then everything gets destroyed automatically. Plus, I really... I, I mean, like... They're probably not going to name Carnage if we name Carnage. You pick Carnage, they'll pick Spider-Man. They always do. Okay, Marari's Wake. You have one mana available to you right now. Well, two, I guess. Wait, they can't draw a card. I have Leovold out. That's not going to work. <laughs> that's, that's not how that works. Oh, boy. The desperation attack here. Okay, so they're targeting something. So I'm going to draw a card with Leovold. You got it. I mean, they have to do this. Otherwise, they just... Uh... I mean, we're literally just going to block here because... It gets actually five, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll just take seven here. I mean, they don't get to draw any cards off Skull Clamp, which is pretty nuts. Matthew, if you did not see the final round, you missed out on some amazing storm action, which is very sad because I feel like you'd like it. Uh, homage.
We have seven cards in our deck, but I think we're just going to Mind Slaver them and, and probably win. So, what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, million. One, two. So, this is three, five, eight, nine, ten. Also, we have Emery, so we can just keep mind slavering them. This is a lock. And scoop them. Yep, cool. I mean, can you Carnage and hope they don't realize and kill them with Bloody Boy? Maybe, but I mean, they still have a bunch of lands, and we. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a, it's. It's hip to be a square. I mean, language actually could be decent. Two Fraley's decks in a row. They also have Leovold, Tireless Tracker. Might be worth massacring. I don't or, or languishing. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's worth massacring, but I think language could be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's not exciting at all, but... No, I don't think... I, I just said Worm. I don't think Worm is that great. Come on, Unforgiven. The problem is, like, all their creatures are bigger than Worm. Like, Neg 2, Neg 2 doesn't matter against the... Uh, I mean, I guess it's good if they get bit Fraley's and then make a bunch of tokens, but it's not good against Frost Titan. It's not good against Leovold. It's not good against Tireless Tracker if they sacrifice one clue. It's hip to be square. I have also heard mixed reviews about it, and I, I want to see it because I've liked all of Chris Nolan's movies. But I do feel like a lot of Chris Nolan's movies kind of, like, blend together in a sense. Like, I was going to play Tanglewire, but then I was going to play Ashiok. Oh, a Rexage, and what is this white card? A Stoneforge Mystic? A Stoneforge Mystic in the four-color deck. I mean, Ashok plus Tanglewire is pretty much a, a game, right? And we're locking him out of, like, the next two turns. Yeah, it's not fun. Tanglewire and Smokestack I do not have in my cube. Nor will I put them in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it to be square? Memento is fantastic. Memento is easily my favorite Chris Nolan movie. Easily. And I actually like Inception. I think Inception is good, even though I think I think I think Inception had a great reception when it first came out, and I think it kind of petered off a little bit.
nevertheless, I still think Inception is super enjoyable. So. Matthew, let me know where you stand on, on Inception and Memento when you get a chance. <gasps> oh, boy. That's a turn two ashy boy. Followed by a turn two uh, discard a guy reanimated by our opponent. Yesterday I had two opponents beat my turn one Tinker Blightsteel Colossus of the Edict Effects. Yikes. Oh, come on. Mesmeric Fiend? Ugh, God. I ain't even right. Ain't even right. We're not going to attack because then they get to attack. And Memento is a far superior screenplay, but Inception is just a lot more visually impressive. That being said, nothing tops the Dark The Dark Knight is very good. <sighs> okay, so okay, it was a turn later than than it than we wanted it to be. Cool. Can we draw? Can we draw Control Magic? Because that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> fashion relate to the party i'm gonna concede here because i don't think we have a great uh, route to victory especially with the cards we're gonna be drawing so well none of these cards help us here it's round three already man this was quick Batman vs. Superman is the best Batman movie. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay. Okay. Turn to Thief of Sanity. Is that going to be good enough? No. But can we try? Maybe. Actually, turn to Narset might be better because we can stop them from drawing off Gristlebrand if they're going super ham. Dark Ritual into... Fucking God! Oh! I can have Thoughtseize and Mesmeric Fiend. Come on, dude. Oh, my hands are so good. Actually, that's fine. I thought they were going to play the Mox. Or take the Mox, because that slows me down significantly. Whereas this, like, even if they get Gristlebrand, it prevents them from playing it. Or drawing with it. Oh, wow. So Ruby lets us bribery next turn? Let's do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not playing Ruby because if they have something to discard and they don't take the bribery, then they, they're taking the Ruby, right? So if leaving this in hand gives them a chance to misplay and take the Ruby when bribery is significantly more powerful against the reanimate deck. Like, there's just no benefits of playing the Ruby there. I see. But 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 blight steel. Now who is the reanimate deck? It's 
still them. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, you killed... Oh, now there's going to be... This is amazing. This I've never actually seen someone with this fucking good of draws. Thoughtseize, Mesmeric Fiend, Dismember, Liliana's... Wow, that's fucking incredible. It's absolutely phenomenal. Wow. That's... I mean, I don't even have words for that. Like, that's like lottery-level bullshit. Like, you have to have exactly one mana removal spell for Emery and then a sacrifice effect? Weird. Do you have a voodoo doll somewhere in your home? Oh, man. You got it. If they activate it now, we have time warp. It's pretty good, right? I mean, we don't have any reason not to do this. We get to draw two more cards, so. Carnage definitely seems worse for us. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. That's actually really good, because now we can tap Revoke our Course of Portal and Tangle Wire. Uh, I have not gotten Opposition Agent and Wish, Wish, Claw, Wish Claw Talisman. And uh, it doesn't seem that great just because they can actually just not search, right? So it just becomes a three-mana Demonic Tutor. Oh, unless you don't play Opposition Agent before they, before, like, they activate it and then you do it. Yeah, that seems decent. Oh, Awaken the Trolls is not in English. Okay. So, it is a Saga for, for six mana. First, destroy target land. So, it comes into play, you destroy a land for six mana. Second, second phase on the next turn, put a land from your, from the graveyard on the battlefield under your control. Okay, so it's kind of like Frenzied Tilling. Only for an extra mana and a turn longer. Third stage, choose target opponent if they control less lands than you. Create 4-4 four, four warrior troll creature tokens with reach equal to the difference in lands. So if they control 2, you control 5, you make 3 4 fours. That's interesting. I think it should say if they control fewer lands than you. Um, okay, so we're just going to go... Homage. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Yorion, Yorion, blinky, blinky, blinky. Uh, we're just gonna leave this guy. I don't really need a. <sighs> 
We have enough mana that I can just tap a an island here. Or a mm, Mox Ruby's probably better. <laughs> you got it. I imagine you'll get like an Entomb. Faithless looting. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an entomb for your hand. I mean, I'm sure they have Gristlebrand in hand. They're just gonna put it in the graveyard now. Putrid Imp Swamp. All right. Still homage. Mind Slaver. Uh, one, two, three. Well, that's interesting. Ponder does not let us. I think we just mind slaver here. I mean, they have to like do something this turn or else they die. So I guess they could Ashen Rider. That's pretty good. Yep, they're digging. So they tapped one, two, three, and then they used one, two, they tapped one, two, three, and then they used three for the Faithless Looting and got it. Oh yeah, I love that they're actually at 7 exactly, which means if they do have Gristlebrand, we can actually play it. Hey, look, we're going to draw Blightsteel Colossus again. Um, Good lord. Do we just play Colgon's Command with our two red sources? Getting rid of things like Wishclaw Talisman and... I'll add one mountain, just for funsies. Man, Liliana's Liliana's triumph, hilarious. Like we have control magic, bribery, and treachery, which should be amazing against a uh, a reanimator deck. We'll take Tangle Wire out. This hand is extremely slow and it has a blight steal. This is a significantly better hand. Ship of Baral. Uh Skydiver has a significantly higher upside, so we're gonna keep that guy. <laughs> every fucking game. Wow, how do you how do you have a seven card hand every game with a discard spell? That's pretty wild.
Grim Monolith is actually fine. <laughs> Island go. I admire her aggressively, you mulligan. I feel like I don't aggress mulligan aggressively at all, actually. Oh, cool. Sure. I mean, every game they've had either Thoughtseize, Kitesail, Freebooter, M M Mesmeric Fiend, or two of the three, so. <sighs> <laughs> oh, in game three, they have all three of them. Fantastic. I mean, Grimonolith, Rakdos, Signet, and Ashiok are much better in their hand. I think they're on the same step. Nice. So, if one is like 99.999999% to have and play Tide Ella Skull next turn. Yeah, here we go. Oh, just a Wish Claw Talisman? Wait, but can I... I guess, I guess if they activate it... It says activate only during your turn, so they have to give it to me now. They didn't give it to me. So I just get to steal the Wish Claw Talisman that you just searched for. Wow, that seems terrible for you. I hope they try to activate it. That's not how that works. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Did they search for that, you think? No, it costs one to activate. They could have activated that turn, but. So if their hand is like Gristlebrand Animate Dead, then it's really good. Okay. Wait. Hey, wait. Can't we can't we Wish Claw Talisman for like Control Magic and take this Ulamog? That seems good. Okay, that's terrible, but. Hmm. Hmm. Someone like you. I don't want to attack because if they do have triumph, they can block here and then triumph us. They actually have one card in hand, so I don't actually know what they can do to get the Ulamog back. I think they're looking for an answer, but it's really hard for a, a black-red deck to deal with an Ulamog here. Who is the best vintage cube drafter? I would definitely argue that, that J-Bro is very high up there. I mean, you can't put as many reps in as he does without... And we also get to search for something else. So we could literally search for a treachery. 
steal something else if they play something big. I think they're just dead here. I don't think they have an answer to Ulamog. Oh, and we get to time walk them. Yeah, they're just dead. Is the feed the swarming? Is feed the swarming the cube? Uh, it's not in this cube, but I actually added it to my cube because I think it's a really good card. And giving black a way to deal with enchantments is. Oh my god, are we just gonna win because we stole their Ulamog with their stupid wish claw talisman, which I think is not great. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Wow. All of your discard, and you have nothing to threaten me with. You got it. Buddy, you don't even know. Give me that time warp. <laughs> oh god i'm get out of here with your stupid discard gristle brand nonsense thank you guys for watching snarky zero thank you for the for the stipulation man really appreciate it had a great time if you guys want to send stipulations in and support the channel definitely feel free to do so i'll try to get to them before the end of this vintage cube season it's a great way to support the channel you can also subscribe or follow over at twitch.tv slash frank lapore please please consider doing so it's a great way to support the channel and it's one of my main sources of income as a streamer i'm here five to six days a week so you'll definitely see me more often and uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.